equal amount of time. Let's turn our attention over to the Evans inbound Wildcats. This is a look at their class. Nigel Glover is one of the big names. He's a four-star player, a linebacker going to a place where they got a head coach who knows a couple things about being a linebacker. Now for more on this class, we're glad to bring in Pat Fitzgerald, the head coach of the Wildcats. Pat, let me start kind of big picture. What has you most excited about this crop of players you're bringing in? Well, Mike, it's the entire group, uh, you know, from top to bottom. I think this may be on paper one of the best classes that we've ever recruited. Uh, huge thank you uh, to an amazing group of young men, amazing families, high school coaches, uh, our coaching staff, the recruiting staff, the list goes on and on. It was a full team effort and uh, most importantly, our players uh, that hosted our, these, this great class uh, as they came up unofficially and officially uh, to finally get this done today is an exciting moment. A lot of people excited about the linebacker, Nigel Glover. How come? Well, you see him all over the field. You know, he was uh, a, a safety here. Probably, yeah, here we go, seeing him against Centerville and just watching his range and his physicality. Uh, you know, a guy that can really play sideline to sideline. And you can see his length here on tape, Mike. And then, you know, watching him come downhill uh, is a perfect fit for what we're trying to get accomplished uh, for our defense and his length. Um, really physical player, really special young man, great family. Uh, one of my, Again, I've had a ton of great home visits, but uh, to see the amount of uh, Christmas ornaments and, and festive uh, things at his, at his uh, grandma's house, it was awesome. So <laughs> fired up to have Nigel and his family a part of it. And that fits into what you told me Era told you years back, academic fit from Ohio, right? Well, we start and end our recruiting in Chicagoland. We're not gonna we're not gonna hide from that. Uh, we had another great year this year, and then when we leave, it's it's no secret where we're going. We're going to Ohio, and uh, you know our our three coaches that are in Ohio, you know uh, Timmy McGargle, Matt McPherson, and then Kurt Anderson, up in the Cleveland area, do a great job for us. QB is always so important in the world of football. So tell me about Aiden Gray coming in. What makes him special? Well, again, going back to what I just alluded to, starting and ending our recruiting in Chicagoland, you know, Aiden was a young man that we've known about for a long time. Uh, great high school program at Naperville North. Sean Drendel, the head coach there, and I've known each other, it seems like forever. But look at the escapability, the ability to extend the play. And then, you know, we had Aiden in our camp. Uh, I think I've known Aiden since he was like 12. <laughs> so <laughs> the relationship that we've had with he and his family, uh, again, one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. It was a French toast casserole and then a, a, an egg breakfast casserole uh, that his wonderful mom made for us. Uh, it's just, it, we, I think you're hearing a theme, right? We had a tough record, uh, but to see this class be unified since day one, they know the uh, opportunity they have to mesh with a very motivated locker room. So we're, I'm excited about the future, buddy, and, and this class is going to be a big part of it and uh, really excited about where we're going. I would kill to have the memory of a head coach. I mean, you remember the casserole at his visit on a breakfast. That's the best. Uh, your goal when you bring these kids in is that they develop and that they can go on to the NFL, obviously, which you have now a long track record of doing, including Peter Skaronsky, who's now going to be the yeah. next guy from Evanston to become likely a first round pick in the NFL. What is it like for you, specifically with him, to watch him go from following him when he was just a high schooler to now he's going to be playing yeah. on Sundays next year. Well, we have that you know vision and mission that we want to be the best player development staff in the country, and you know you, you hope that it's holistic, it's academically, it's preparing them for life, and then preparing them to achieve all their individual goals when it comes to the game of football. And you know Peter's got a special future ahead of him. I mean, I had a great conversation with his mom last week. Uh, Peter and I have been you know hand in hand. Darby Dunnigan does an amazing job as our NFL liaison, and with Johnny Kovach by our side who runs our recruiting. Um, you know, th th this is a holistic approach, and to see what Peter has become, we're so proud of him. But it goes back to when he played, you know, Park Ridge Falcons football and then Maine <laughs> South for Dave and Sarah. You know, again, you, I mean, you just invest so much time to build these relationships, and to see what Peter has become is, is something really special. We're really proud of him, and I look forward to hopefully having another uh, sweet suit that uh, I get to wear on draft uh, day to be there to support him and be a part of it. Pat, before I let you go, one more guy I want to ask you about. There's this tight end, 6'5", 220 from Loyola Academy, Jack, F uh, how do you say his last name? Fitz <laughs> Fitzgerald? 
How do you, yeah. do, do you know, what, what do I know about this guy? Yeah, well, I've been working on a relationship with his mom for 32 <laughs> years. Uh, <laughs> It's been the longest recruiting run, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fired up to have JP join us. Uh, I'm proud of him, man. You know, he's got a chance to be the valedictorian there at Loyola Academy. 8A state champs, uh, Johnny Holosek, uh, who's uh, now gone into uh, his new life, uh, ran a great program there, and it'll be a new chapter. We got Ryan playing hoops there, and just so thankful for his experience at Loyola Academy and, and fired up to have J uh, Jack join us, and uh, he needs to get to work. Uh, he's about 240 now. He's no longer 225. So uh, he's got to go block the C-gap and block the guys off the edge. So proud dad moment. Proud to be uh, Stacy's husband and happy to have him join this great class. Yeah, you screw things up with his mom, you're in trouble two times over, right? Uh, don't, well, don't, uh, don't get me started, Mike. I've tried to do that for a long time. So, <laughs> Hey, Pat, congratulations on the class. Thanks for the time and start celebrating the holidays, would you? Hey, listen, buddy, thanks a lot. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to all of our great Wildcat fans and fired up to keep cheering on these great basketball programs we got rolling right now and our wrestling team and the list goes on and on. So go Cats. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas.